Whatever demonic grip holding your life, be released, be released, be released right now. Be released from that pain. Be released from that bondage. Be released from that nightmare. Be released from that generational curse right now. Grace and peace to you all in that name above every other name, the glorious name of Jesus Christ. You are all warmly welcome to this interactive prayer service at the God's Heart TV studio here in North Wales. And thank you so much for joining us wherever you are connecting from around the world today. Hallelujah. Yes, I just want to first of all say a very big thank you to everyone for your love, your prayers, your support concerning my wedding with Alison. Thank you so much, people of God. We, we are both so grateful to God and, and we're excited for the journey ahead in Christ. And we, we know that the best way to express our appreciation to God is that continued commitments to the work of God, to the advancement of God's kingdom, because it is such a privilege to be in Christ's service together. So thank you once again from our hearts. Thank you for your love, prayers, and support. So today, people of God, I want to give you a word of encouragement, an important word of encouragement. And the principle I want to emphasize today is not just important to prepare your hearts for the prayer you are about to receive. It's also a principle that will help guide you as you navigate and negotiate this journey of life. So. Wherever you are, I want you to turn with me in your Bibles to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10 from verses 3 to 5. That is what we are going to take this word of encouragement from today. Hallelujah. Let's read. It says this, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. Take note of that, people of God. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. I want to emphasize today on verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, yes, we are in this world as Christians, but we are not part of them. As a result of this, we do not wage war, we do not fight according to the flesh examine your life one of the easiest ways for the devil to gain a foothold in your hearts is tempting you to battle in the natural to fight according to the flesh when issues arise, especially in our everyday regular relationships. Each time you fight according to the flesh, you give permission to the devil to damage your heart. Each time you fight, According to the flesh, you respond to wrong with wrong. If someone fights you, you fight back. If someone hits you, you hit back. Each time you fight according to the flesh, you give permission to the devil to strike, to attack, 
to damage your hearts because two wrongs don't make a right. And the devil <laughs> will look for every available avenue in your life to disturb your heart. Let, let me give you a practical example. Today is, is the interactive prayer service. Today is, is your appointment with Jesus, your encounter with Jesus Christ. And the devil also knows this. <laughs> That's why, check yourself, people of God. Even from the time you receive the message, the email, that you're going to be part of the interactive prayer service this week, many of us will have discovered that some uncommon challenges and conflicts emerged. <laughs> Maybe it was conflicts within family or, or marriage, even children, business, relationships, just name it. But oftentimes, seemingly minor or, or insignificant things become an issue of disagreements and misunderstanding. And if you don't handle this carefully, it can affect the states of your hearts. For you to receive what God has destined you to receive today. Your heart must be at its best for God. The states of your heart matters. <sighs> Too often we allow, we permit things, issues that have no lasting value or significance to interfere with our relationship with God. God, the, the divine one who defines what is really valuable, the sovereign one who sets the parameters for what is actually significant, we allow unnecessary issues to affect our relationship with God. When you fight according to the flesh, you tend to fight the wrong battle. The wrong battle is an unnecessary battle. And if care is not taken, that unnecessary battle can become an unlimited battle battle that will affect your relationship with God. So take this word of exhortation to heart today, people of God. Stop fighting battles over issues that fade in the light of eternity. Ask yourself right now, if if you knew, if you discovered that today was your last day here on earth, would such problems be your priority? <sighs> Offense, bitterness, resentment. Why did he speak to me like this? Why did he behave like this? Would such Issues preoccupy your hearts. So let me ask you this important question. Is there anything disturbing your heart right now? Please don't waste necessary focus on an unnecessary battle. Don't, don't get too preoccupied by it. Don't give too much attention to it. Remember the words of Apostle Paul, though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. When issues arise as they will do so in the course of your journey, when issues, disagreements, misunderstandings, problems come in your relationships, what must you do? Each response, take it to God. Each response, take it for prayer. Though I may be aggrieved, 
I refuse to agree with the lies of the devil. Yes, I may be hurt, but I refuse to hold on to the lies of the devil. Though I may be wronged, I refuse to succumb to the lies of the devil. I refuse to fight according to the flesh because I am a child of God. And when you take the issue to God, you leave the battle for God. His grace is sufficient. He will manifest his strength in your weakness. He will help you to see things from his perspective, to get the bigger picture and to overcome that temptation to react in the flesh. You have heard the word. The question is, what will you do with this message? The ball is in your courts. Will your heart receive or resist? It's between you and God. Look, your past does not matter. It's over. Yesterday is over. 15 minutes ago, it's over. 10 seconds ago, it is over. Right here, right now. This is your appointment with Jesus. Open your hearts and let him in. Let go of the pain of the past. And let the healer of all wounds in right now. Whatever wall built by wrong, I say be removed by the power in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Ahora mismo, cualquier barrera, cualquier pared construida por la ofensa sea removido en el glorioso y poderoso nombre de Jesucristo. Maintenant, peu importe le mur qui a été construit par le tort qui vous a été fait, je leur donne maintenant de s'enlever dans le sang de Jésus-Christ. Receive forgiveness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Recibe perdón en el poderoso nombre de Jésus-Christ. Recevez le pardon dans le nom puissant de Jésus-Christ. By the blood he shed on the cross of Calvary, by the supreme price he paid, you can walk in freedom, in liberty, in deliverance. Therefore, refuse right now to remain under the dominion of the devil. Pueblo de Dios, por la sangre que Jesucristo derramó en la cruz del Calvario, por el precio supremo que Él pagó por ti, tú puedes ahora caminar a la luz de la libertad, de la sanidad. Ahora mismo, niégate a estar en ese dolor, niégate a estar en ese problema. Peuple de Dieu, à cause du sang que, que, que Jésus a payé, le prix qu'il a payé pour vous, refusez de rester sous l'emprise du diable. Right now. Whatever demonic grip holding your life, be released, be released, be released right now. Ahora mismo, cualquier garra satánica que te esté atrapando, se liberado, se liberado, se liberado ahora mismo. Peu importe l'emprise démoniaque sur votre vie, soyez libéré, libéré au nom de Jésus Christ. Be released from that pain. Be released from that bondage. Be released from that nightmare. Be released from that generational curse right now. Se liberado de esa enfermedad, se liberado de ese dolor, de esa aflicción, de esa pesadilla, se liberado ahora mismo. Soy libre de la douleur, de cauchemar y de curse generacional. Right now, every strange spirit attacking your life your career, your business, your family, I say come out in Jesus' name. Out right now. Out, out, out. Ahora mismo cualquier espíritu extraño afectando, afligiendo a tu familia, afligiéndote. Fuera ahora mismo, fuera ahora mismo. 
Tout esprit étrange qui attaque vos familles, allez, sors, sors, maintenant, sors Whatever that strange spirit has deposited in your system, your organs, your faculties, be flushed out, 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 vomit it out right now. Cualquier cosa que ese espíritu maligno haya depositado en tu cuerpo, en tu sistema, en tus órganos, vomítalo ahora mismo, expúlsalo ahora mismo, expúlsalo. Cet esprit intro, étrange qui s'est infiltré dans votre système, vomissez-le, vomissez-le maintenant. Many of us have found ourselves In a cage, imprisoned, I say enough is enough to that bondage. Whatever prison you find yourself in today, be loosed, be loosed, be loosed right now. Muchos han estado en una prisión, ahora mismo ya es suficiente para esa atadura en tu vida. Cualquier prisión en la que estés, se libre, se libre ahora mismo. Beaucoup d'entre vous sont dans des cages emprisonnées. Quelle que soit la prison où vous êtes, soyez libérés. Libérés maintenant. You devil, I command you to get out with your depression. Get out with your affliction. Get out with your bondage. Get out with your nightmares. Get out of their lives right now. A ti demonio, a ti diablo, ahora mismo sal con tu depresión, con tu aflicción, con tus ataduras, sal de sus vidas ahora mismo. Toi démon, pars avec ton affliction, ta dépression, tes cauchemars, pars au nom de Jésus-Christ. Leave that family, leave that household, leave that woman, leave that man. You demons, I command you to leave right now. Ahora mismo tu demonio, deja esa casa, deja esa familia, déjalos, a ti diablo te ordeno, sal ahora mismo. Toi démon, laisse cette famille, pars, je te commande de partir maintenant, au nom de Jésus Christ. The scripture says in Psalm 107 verse 20, that God sent forth his word and healed them. La palabra de Dios dice muy claro que Él envió su palabra y lo sanó. La palabra de Dios dice en el Psalms 107, verse 20, y Dios envió su palabra y les ha guérido. Distance is not a barrier to the healing power of God's word. La distancia no es una barrera para el poder de sanidad de la palabra de Dios. La distancia no es una barrera a la palabra de Dios. Right now, place your hand wherever you are experiencing pain, affliction, sickness. Touch that place. If you're having the picture of a family member who is sick or afflicted, also you can hold that picture by faith right now. Pueblo de Dios, continúa colocando tu mano donde quiera que tengas ese dolor. Y si tienes la fotografía de tu familiar, también pon tu mano ahí para recibir ahora mismo. Pueblo de Dios, continúe a mettre la mano là où vous avez la douleur. Y également, si vous avez la foto d'un membre de, fam de famille, prenez cette foto là. People of God, you belong to Jesus. Your body is not a temple of sickness or affliction. Wherever that affliction is located, on the inside or the outside, I proclaim healing right now. Be healed, be healed in Jesus' name. Pueblo de Dios, le perteneces a Jesucristo y tu cuerpo no es templo de la enfermedad ni de la aflicción. Así que proclamo ahora mismo, se sano, se sano, se sano en el nombre de Jesús. Peuple de Dieu, vous appartenez à Jésus. Peu importe là où la douleur, que ce soit à l'intérieur ou à l'extérieur, soyez guéri, guéri au nom de Jésus Christ. You sickness, you affliction, whatever name you are called, I say, come out right now. Come out right now. Come out right now. Vomit it out in the name of Jesus Christ. Tu enfermedad, aflicción, como quiera que te llames, te ordeno, sal ahora mismo, sal ahora mismo, sal en el nombre de Jesucristo. Tu maladie, aflicción, peu importe ton nom, je te commande de sortir, sors, sors, au nom de Jesus Christ. You sickness, you affliction, you bondage, you pain, I say, be flushed out by the blood of Jesus Christ. Be washed away by the blood of Jesus Christ.
tu aflicción, tu enfermedad, tu otadura, te ordeno que seas expulsada ahora mismo, se expulsada ahora mismo de ellos en el nombre de Jesucristo. Toi affliction, servitude, sois expulsé au nom de Jésus Christ. It is time to speak by faith to your business, your career, your finances. Ahora es tiempo de hablarle por fe a tu carrera, a tus negocios, a tus finanzas. Maintenant, peuple de Dieu, il est temps de parler par la foi à votre business, à vos carrières, à votre santé. That strange force working against your progress, your promotion, your forward movement towards your destiny. I say be exposed and cast out. Be exposed and cast out. Out right now. Esa fuerza extraña reteniendo, deteniendo tu progreso, el curso de tu vida, tu éxito. Le digo, se expulsada, se expuesta y expulsada, se expulsada ahora mismo. Cette force qui œuvre contre votre destinée. Allez, je recommande, soyez expulsés, expulsés, expulsés au nom de Jésus-Christ. Whatever strange spirit is disturbing your peace, your joy in your home, in your marriage, in your family, your career, your finances. Enough is enough. I declare breakthrough right now. Breakthrough right now. Cualquier espíritu, fuerza extraña, afectando, dañando tu gozo, tu paz, en tu vida, en tu casa, en tu familia, en tu matrimonio. Ahora mismo lo echo fuera, fuera ahora mismo. Todo esprit étrange que derange votre paix, votre famille, vos finances. Allez, je déclare, soyez expulsés, expulsés, je déclare la percée maintenant. Right now I want you to remember your nation, your country in prayer. If you have the flag of your nation, hold it up and begin to declare divine intervention over the affairs of your nation. Pueblo de Dios, ahora es tiempo de recordar tu nación en esta oración. Así que si tienes esa bandera, tómala y sosténla y pon delante de Dios todos los asuntos que tengan que ver con tu país. Peuple de Dieu, maintenant, souvenez-vous de votre nation, de votre pays, et commencez à déclarer l'intervention divine dans votre pays. Whatever satanic covenant at work in your nation, covenant of stealing, killing, and destruction, begin to cancel them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Cancel that satanic covenant Covenant in your nation. Open your lips with faith in your hearts and offer that prayer right now. Ahora mismo declara que todo pacto satánico en el que tu nación esté envuelta, ya sea un pacto de robo, de asesinato, de maldad, de destrucción, ahora mismo cancela ese pacto, cancela ese pacto en el nombre de Jesús. Peuple de Dieu, peu importe l'alliance satanique dans votre, dans votre pays, allez ouvrez vos lèvres et annulez cette alliance au nom de Jésus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you hold the whole world in your hands. We commit the nations into your mighty hands right now. Seigneur Jésus, Tú sostienes el mundo entero en tus manos, así que encomendamos todas las naciones en tus poderosas manos ahora mismo. Señor Jesús, tú tienes el mundo entero en tus manos, Alors nos, nos metemos ese mundo entre tus manos, en el nombre de Jesucristo. People of God, the Bible says in the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 6, this is the words of our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Pueblo de Dios, la Biblia dice en Mateo 5, 6, Bienaventurados los hambrientos y los sedientos de justicia, porque ellos serán saciados. Peuple de Dieu, la Biblia dice en el libro de Mateo 5, 6, Béni soit celui qui et à soif de la justice car ils seront rassasiés. Right now ask God to increase your thirst 
and hunger for his word and holiness in your life. Open your lips and offer that prayer right now. Ahora mismo abre tu boca y pídele a Dios que incremente en ti esa hambre y esa sed por él, por su palabra, por su justicia. Abre tu boca y pídeselo ahora mismo. Peuple de, de Dieu, maintenant demandez au Seigneur d'augmenter le désir pour votre pour sa parole dans vos vies au nom de Jésus-Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. En el poderoso nombre de Jesucristo oramos. Au nom puissant de Jésus-Christ nous avons prié. Since your past is over and you are a child of the most high God, begin to proclaim, declare who you are in Christ right now. Those of you who had a physical health issue, check yourself, check your body because the healing power of God has touched you. Check yourself and walk in the light of your testimony right now. Pueblo de Dios, ya que tu pasado se terminó y eres un hijo de Dios, es tiempo que proclames quién eres en Jesucristo. Revísate ahora mismo, revisa tu cuerpo, revísate y comienza a confesar esa sanidad que has recibido, esa liberación que has recibido ahora mismo. Peuple de Dieu, votre pasé es fini. Déclarez qui vous êtes maintenant en Christ. Ok, si vous aviez une maladie quelconque ou un problème dans votre corps, consultez-vous maintenant et déclarez tout est fini. Remember the message earlier. Though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. Because take note of this people of God. Don't allow anything to disturb the joy you have received today. The devil will try, he will try, but don't give him the chance. Refuse to succumb to that temptation to react to the flesh. Protect your hearts in the light of God's word. By the authority in the scriptures, you are all declared free. So walk in the light of your freedom. We look forward to hearing your testimony and remember, Continue to seek God's heart to see life clearly in Jesus' name. Viewers all over the world, we have seen God's power in action. Now, many of you, if you examine your lives, realize that in an area of your life, you have been locked, stagnant. Today, the doors that have been locked in your life have been opened. Right now, I declare to you, whatever door the devil has locked in your life, be opened right now. Be opened right now. Be opened in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That door to progress, be open right now. That door to success, be open right now. That door to growth, be opened in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are living in a world where there are so many conflicting voices and you need to be sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Right now, let your spirit be sensitive to the Spirit of God. Let there be discernment. Let there be sensitivity. Let there be revelation in the light of God's word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. People of God, remember that divine process. Meditation in the word of God brings revelation. Revelation brings conviction. 
and conviction brings real movement. I say, begin to move into your divine destiny. Move into your divine destiny. Move into your divine destiny. In Jesus' mighty name, rejoice. My name is Nancy Kubana from South Africa. The problem that I had was pain all over my body from my chest, my breasts, my back, and also where I have uh, had a caesarean operation. I used to have pain. I couldn't move. I couldn't bend down like this. Even when I sleep, it's always a problem. But after the prayer today, I feel light, I feel no pain, even when I'm moving like this, I'm free, I'm no longer feeling pain, I can bend like this, I can move sideways, I am free and I really thank God for this healing, I thank God for the wonderful ministry in Jesus name, Amen. My name is Mrs. Confidence Kashla from Triangle, Zimbabwe. In 2021, I had a fracture distorted radius of my right hand. I was managed by surgery. They put uh, titanium plates and screws to hold my bone together. Thereafter, I started reacting to the pin, pins and the screws. I could, I could no longer hold everything using the, this hand. I could no longer write without pain. Before the prayer started, I started feeling very hot and I started vomiting. During the prayer, I felt excessive heat. The heat increased like never before. I started feeling itchiness of my body, especially my lower legs. The moment he declared that we are all free, I felt this calmness inside my heart, and I'm happy. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you for healing me. I can now move my hand without pain. My name is Padese Mungwa. I'm from Zambia. The problem that made me to write to God's Heart TV was simply because of fibroids. And I used to have pain on this left part of my, my abdomen. Apart from that, and I used to feel very dizzy. Every time when I go to teach, I am a teacher by profession, I used to feel very dizzy as if I, I, I can even fall, uh, fell down. Uh, by the grace of God, we, I prayed with my husband, with the brother Chris. Immediately, he was ministering the prayer. I vomited blood, uh, substances. Immediately after that, I felt very light on my body and I even slept very well. I no longer feel pain on this left abdomen. Every time when I press it, I used to feel pain. But this time I can press it freely. There's no any pain. And there's no any pain on my body. I can teach without having any problems. I can even lie um, using the front part. There's no any pain. Thank you, Jesus, for setting me free. My name is Maria Ferreira. I'm from Argentina. Este, yo tuve la gracia y el favor de Dios de estar el 15 de octubre en la oración interactiva de nuestro hermano Crins en God Heart TV y en el tiempo de la oración recibí sanidad tenía dolor en los huesos, dolor en el pecho, dolor en el estómago y cuando estaba en la oración interactiva vomité y recibí sanidad y bueno, y quería comentar mi testimonio, contar mi testimonio ya que soy una de las que recibió sanidad y oración Gracias a Dios por este tiempo, gracias a Dios por la sanidad. Ahora me puedo agachar, me puedo levantar, me puedo agachar, puedo levantar los brazos, puedo moverme para allá, para allá, puedo saltar. Así que estoy sana para la gloria de Dios. My name is Idris Sakanu from Sierra Leone. I've been suffering with urine incontinence, pain and burning sensation during urination and other post prostate surgery complications. I've also had bad dreams and nightmares, especially forceful eating in the dream over the past several months. During the interactive prayer session, as a man of God, Brother Chris was praying, I felt a force push me 
on my back and I fell to the side. After the prayer session, I also vomited some white substance. Now I feel relief. I no longer have the burning cessation and pain during urination. The urine incontinence has subsided and I no longer have nightmare and bad dream. I want to thank the Lord Jesus Christ for locating me. I also want to thank him for the lives of the man of God, Boda Chris, and the God's Art TV team for facilitating our freedom, deliverance, and healing thank you lord jesus now i am free i'm andongdu caroline i'm a cameroonian but i reside in the netherlands i'm very fortunate to be a part of uh, today's interactive prayer before now i've been having moving objects on my head it has been really been disturbing me and when these moving objects begin like this for me to see my monthly period it will be very difficult the menstruation will just come like a drop and the moving object will keep moving up and down, up and down. So today when I just log in, just when I just signed in to the Zoom meeting, I felt as to go to the bathroom. I went to the bathroom and I was shocked when I saw so much blood. I said, wow, just logging in into the Zoom meeting and now seeing blood. Hmm. So before the prayer even began again, I, I had that sensation to go to the bathroom again and something just dropped out of me. People of God, as these things keep on coming out like that, that's how I'm feeling relieved on my head. Thank you, people of God. I am very happy. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Linella from Eswatini. I was lucky to in, to participate in the interactive prayer session. Before then, I suffered limitations. I suffered anger. I suffered stubbornness. Um, even on that particular day, I was so angry. Angry at my husband to the extent that I had decided I was going to quit the relationship. But when Brother Chris came, uh, he spoke about forgiveness. I realized, I quickly realized what he was teaching, that he was just talking directly to me. Suddenly my heart just turned. That anger, that heaviness in my ch on my chest just suddenly left me. I even felt something dropping from my leg. Something just left my body and I, was, I suddenly felt so much light. I felt so much happiness and remorse towards my husband. I knew I had to fix my relationship with my husband instead of quitting. So after the, shortly after the prayer, Brother Chris prayed for us. After the prayer, I sought for forgiveness. And we managed to mend um, our relationship. And not only that, but we were suddenly blessed uh, in, our, in our businesses. Our businesses just then took a 360 degrees turn. There's so much peace, there's so much joy in the house, so much uh, happiness. Uh, no more nightmares. I'm just sleeping peacefully and soundly. I just want to say thank you so much to Brother Chris for taking the time to not only pray for, for me and my family, but also to just motivate us. Здравствуйте, меня зовут Евгений Проценко. Я хочу поблагодарить всех тех, кто организовал э, трансляцию э, интерактивной молитвенной сессии с братом Крисом. Всех тех, кто переводил на русский язык. Э, еще до того, как началась молитва, я начал переживать силу Божью на себе и начал чувствовать прикосновение Божье. Спасибо всем тем, кто делает это. Спасибо, спасибо Богу, спасибо брату Крису, Ману, Бог с нами. Я ободряю вас сделать Слово Божье стандартом для вашей жизни. И благословляю каждого, кто ищет прорыв. Присоединяйтесь к молитвенным сессиям вместе с братом Крисом и переживайте силу Божью на себе, переживайте прорыв и продвижение. Praise the Lord. My name is Sharika. I'm from Jamaica. During the prayer service, Pastor Chris asked us to empty ourselves of resentment, bitterness, anger, and open our hearts so that the Holy Spirit can fill us. That's what I did. I opened my heart. Immediately, I felt like there was a fire around me. I st I wanted to shout for Jesus, but Jesus, it couldn't come out. Instead, a roar was coming out of me. I started removing things from that was planted in me. 
out of my body. I started removing things from my body. Then I fell on my chair. After I, I got up, I felt light. There was a massive tension in the back of my head and that immediately was expelled. That was removed. I am thanking God for my deliverance. My name is AGK. I'm from Nigeria. I'm also a patient and this also has been, been a, a very big problem that, in fact, I can't sleep in the night. I can't eat what I like. This is where I used to have pain. I used to have pain here. This place, the way I'm pressing it now, I can't press it uh, like that before. So I placed my hand on, on this very spot. So as, as I placed my hand, the man of God was praying. He was praying. So at a time, I feel relief. I feel cool inside. So at that point, I know miracle has taken place. So I can eat well now. I can sleep well now. In fact, God has done a great and mighty thing for me. All I'm saying is, thank you, Jesus. So the second miracle is that in my business, I used to know business is not moving well. Things are not moving okay. But that very day, the second day, when I got to my business place, my, my shop, in fact, everything was moving fine. I said, ah, that means it's not only miracle of healing I receive, I also receive miracle of breakthrough. My name is David from the Kingdom of Lesotho, Southern Africa. I was privileged to be part of the interactive prayer session with Brother Chris, and I was prayed for by the men of God. Before applying for um, interactive prayer, I used to have experienced chest tightness. I could not run for very long distances. As you can see, I could not run around the pitch. Um, during the prayer, I vomited some poisonous substances and to the glory of God, I can now run the full length of the pitch and I would just like to do a demonstration uh, to prove and to show the world what God Almighty has done for me in my life. This was something I could not do before, and I give all the glory and honor to God for healing me and allowing me to do it once more. Buenos días y vence hoy, hermanos de Dios que hay en el mundo. Quiero testificarles que a través de la oración interactiva con el hermano Chris se manifestó el poder de Dios en mi vida, liberándome de una larga lucha contra varias enfermedades. Esto a raíz de una gasa que me dejaron en el organismo a través de una histerectomía. Aquí pueden ver las fotos con los padres y lo grave que estuve. Esto me ocasionó infecciones en todos lados del organismo, incluyendo mis pulmones. Aquí tengo algunas radiografías, las cuales muestran el daño pulmonar y, y a corazón que me creció. Este es una, un certificado que habla de, del daño que hubo de, de mis pulmones. Yo no podía respirar. Un día antes, de hecho, estuve soñando con muertos. Eh, y el día de la liberación, me liberé de todo eso a través de, de mi Señor Jesucristo. Yo me sentí muy bien, inmediatamente pude respirar bien. Eh, me sentí muy contenta, muy gozosa. El poder de Dios fue fuerte, fue irresistible. Y ahora hemos aquí libres para su gloria, para su honra y para su honor. Y testificamos que el hermano Cris, el Señor Jesucristo, a través de su ministerio nos ha dado sanidad. Mateo es uno de los testigos porque él tenía infección, dolor de garganta, todo muy fuerte. De hecho, antes de empezar el, el ministerio con el hermano, estaba tosiendo muchísimo y, y se vomitó cuando el hermano hizo la liberación. Gracias a nuestro Señor Jesucristo, aguantó lo más que pudo eh, y se fue al baño. Regresó diciendo que Dios lo había sanado y testificamos de su vida y de su familia, que es libre y unida en el nombre del Señor Jesucristo. My name is Taziba from Botswana. Before the prayer, I had painful and uh, burning legs for almost four years now. Uh, during the prayer, when the men of God were ministering prayer unto us, I had the urge to vomit. I vomited for the glory of God, and after the prayer till now, I have no pain. I have no burning legs. I am free. I can stand for a long time, of which I couldn't do. My legs were sometimes swelling, no swelling. 
Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Thank you, Lord, for the life of Brother Chris. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. My name is Julia Mateko, Zimbabwean living in South Africa. What brought me to God's Heart TV is the paining of my leg, which makes my life unbearable, especially at night. And my heart was heavy with anger. I also have problems of scratching my whole body, itches all over. I scratch anytime, at work, at home, anywhere, in public. So before the prayer, an hour before the prayer resumed, my leg surprises me that I could walk. I can't feel those other cramps that I used to feel. All the itches were gone on Sunday night, 15 October. I was even making a joke that, look, I'm no longer scratching. And I feel at peace. My heart is free. I can, I can do anything. I can do anything. I can jump. I can't even scratch since. So I want to thank God. If it can be done to me, it can be done to anyone, anywhere. Just have faith. Thank you once again. My name is Wang Nam. He is my lovely husband. We are all come from Hong Kong. During the prayer session, I can formicate out the poisonous system. Here you can see. And when we pray for our nation, I can feel the presence of God very strong. And I can feel the presence of God touching, touching my body. After the prayer, I still uh, keep formicating out the poisonous system. I feel the peace and joy uh, in my heart. Thank you, Jesus, for your salvation. Thank you, Jesus, for your blessing. Thank you, Jesus, for okay our situation. My name is Abuzige uh, Tawe from Maui. I have been experiencing chronic headache since 2018, and I've been depending on painkillers each and every day. During prayer session, I felt some sensation and vomited. Now the pain has gone. I'm free, I'm delivered, I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Brother Chris and Good Heart TV. My name is Tabisa Mbelekani. I am currently living in South Africa. I'm a South African. I joined the prayer today with Brother Chris. Um, I manifested, I vomited, I was shaking even before the prayer started. I received the word wholeheartedly. Um, I feel so free. My, my body is so light. Everything in me is just so light. I thank God for what he has done for me today. I really appreciate his goodness and his love for me. Thank you so much to um, Brother Chris and the team. God bless you so much. I was diagnosed with a... Um, Desmond tumor in that is growing in my skin. I couldn't sleep on my tummy. It was very, very painful. But now I slept on my tummy, no pain at all. So I am free. I am delivered. I am restored. Thank you so much. I feel so much joy in my heart. Glory be to God. We thank God for God had TV. I never used to breathe properly. I couldn't take in deep breaths because I used to feel sharp pains in my chest. <sighs> like, I never could do that. I also had a problem with my eyes. I couldn't open my eyes wide. I always have to slant my eyes for me to see them. I always have to see with glasses when I'm in class because I couldn't see properly. I couldn't open my eyes wide like this because I could not see. Everything would be blurry. But now I can see just fine. And I can breathe without having any sharp pain in my chest. And I thank God for that. My name is Ruth from Zambia. This is my mother. She's been sick for a long time. She's been having backache, leg pains, diabetes, and high BP. She has not been able to sleep for a long time. Yesterday, after praying for us, 
My mother is no longer wearing the Numa corsets. Her back pain has stopped. She even forgot to take her medication. Mm -hmm. And I slept very well. Mm -hmm. Thank you, man of God, for making yourself available. We want to give glory to God because my mother is free. We are free. My family is free in Jesus' name. My name is Renny, Colombia. Y viene a la oración del hermano Chris eh, en una situación de las hemorroides. Durante muchos años había aparecido el problema de las hemorroides. Y a medida de que el hermano Chris iba estableciendo la oración, eh, llegó un momento en donde sentí alivio, el dolor se fue. Y apenas terminó la oración, me fui al baño a revisar y ciertamente... Veo para el estado en que estaba que Dios me ha sanado. Gracias, Renny Jesús. Y acudí a la oración interactiva por sanidad de hipertensión arterial y también por sanidad interior. Mientras el hermano Cris oraba y declaraba sobre el dolor en el corazón y los ataques del diablo, pues comencé a llorar y comencé a vomitar. My name is Frida from South Africa and I thank God um, for the grace that I was part of the interactive prayer with Brother Chris. While Brother Chris was praying, um, God touched me and I started to vomit poisonous substances. Before prayer, I had a problem of terrible itching within my body for about four months and this would normally happen um, when I was in bed. But after prayer, the itching is gone, God has healed me, I'm free, and I'm beloved in Jesus' name. Something else that I experienced um, after prayer was that I um, felt a lot, very calm and peace. Um, I felt light and the heaviness has gone in Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Brother Chris. May God continue to use you and your team mightily in Jesus' name. My name is Ndapewa and I'm from Namibia. I'm one of those that got a privilege to be invited for with for prayer interaction with the man of God, uh, Prophet Chris. Uh, as he was praying for us, I encountered a lot of things. I remember I find myself rolling on the ground. I fell in that way. I don't know, but I was just rolling on the ground all over the room. He said we must touch where we feel pain. So I touched my chest, simple because I always feel this sharp pain in my in my chest. As you are praying for us, I expel, uh, I start vomited this kind of thing. I start vomited this kind of things. So I believe this was a touch of God. Simple because I always feel like my chest is just heavy. Sometimes I feel like tighten up with all those sort of sharp pain, but now I am free. My chest is free. I'm not feeling that pain anymore. My name is Mind Zamianda, all the way from Lusaka, Zambia. I just want to give God the glory for this wonderful privilege and real opportunity to be a part of the interactive prayer service with brother Chris right here on God's Heart TV. During the course of the prayer, I vomited poisonous substances and I've been eating in the dreams and encountering all manner of nightmares. And it's just unbelievable that those things were able to come out during the course of the prayer. So these are just some of the uh, poisonous substances that came out at the man of God who was praying for us. Thank you so much again for this rare opportunity and rare privilege to be part of this. And I believe that starting from today, I'll see things clearly. И благодарю вас, организаторов. Слава Всевышнему. Аминь. My name is Mata from Botswana. I was having a uh, shoulder pain this side. It was paining me all over up my back here, coming to the neck, all over. Sometimes I could not sleep. I could not even sit on the sofa, even to relax on the couch for a few minutes. I couldn't. It would pain me all over my head, all over the neck, coming to the head, coming to the neck. They said, and also going to the back. After the prayer, I felt very light, very free.
all the pains were gone. I would even turn my neck. This side, it was no longer painful. Even the shoulder, I can now lift up my shoulder. Sometimes it will be very difficult for me to do my uh, my household chores. It was very difficult. But now I can I can do my work. I can lift even my head. I can bend. I can do anything. I can even turn. It is well with me and my family. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Kowiyo Yusufu. I'm an associate professor at the University of Johannesburg in South Africa. Before the interactive prayer, I've been suffering from a back pain, a very painful uh, situation, uh, to the point where I was uh, even in hospital uh, a few days ago. I've been taking medication, but uh, it's not uh, helping. So during the interactive prayer session, I started feeling a heat a very unusual heat that started from my head toward the rest of an, uh, my body. And I was sweating like never before. And my back pain started disappearing uh, sm slowly but surely. And now I can, I can bend, I can, I, can, I can do what I could not do before. And it, this is just amazing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, uh, Prophet Christ, for allowing yourself to be used by the Holy Spirit. My name is Mariam from South Africa. For four days now, I was sick. I have a headache, pain all over my body. And during the prayer with Brother Christ, I have a feeling so hot. And I was sweating. My legs are shaking. I couldn't control myself. And just after the prayer, I'm feeling so light. And every pain are gone. I thank Jesus. I thank Brother Chris. Hola, ¿qué tal? Mi nombre es Julio de México y mi testimonio es el siguiente. Fui liberado de, de opresión, de ataduras. Eh, Mi fe ha aumentado gracias a Dios y de enfermedades también fui liberado. Eh, antes de esto eh, tenía sueños, pesadillas y terror nocturno. Yo creo y tengo fe que fui liberado de toda opresión en el nombre de Jesús. Durante la oración, la administración, la liberación del hermano Cris, eh, expulsé estas cosas que quiero mostrarles. Eso eh, salió de mi cuerpo en el nombre de Jesús Soy una persona libre, soy un hijo de Dios libre Muchas gracias hermano Chris, en el nombre de Jesús Praise Jesus, God's Heart TV I'm so glad you, we prayed together During the prayers I felt the power of God work through me My headache got healed i came here with a lot of headache i was shivering i felt that yes god is working through me because i had fear in my heart like my heart pumps all the time it feels like i'm scared of something but then now i feel like my heart is at peace and i feel really great my name is nomza mosimamani from south africa i am here to share the testimony of what happened yesterday during interactive prayer with Brother Chris. During a prayer, I had an unbearable pain and heat on my back. I was crying. I ended up on a floor. I was with my daughter during prayer. She asked, who are you? And I said, I am a spiritual husband. When I came back into my senses, the pain and the heat was gone. I thank Jesus for my deliverance yesterday through Brother Chris. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering me from the spiritual husband. I'm Chris Dagalois. I'm 36 years old. I'm from Namibia. During the prayer with Brother Chris, I just felt the presence of God and I don't know what happened to me. I started laughing uncontrollably. I laughed, I laughed, and laughed, and after laughing, I vomited some poison substance. I had a stomach problem when I wake up in the morning. 
It was very painful and I couldn't take any drink. But then, after the prayer, the stomach problem is gone. I can press my stomach like this and felt nothing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. I'm healed. Bueno, bendiciones. Eh, quería, bueno, testificar, dar mi testimonio en cuanto a la oración interactiva. Fue de mucha bendición, sentí mucho la presencia de Dios. Eh, bueno, tuve liberación visible, por supuesto, eh, con vómitos. Y bueno, le doy todas las gracias a Jesús, toda la gloria para Él. Y, y bueno, muchas bendiciones para todos. Este, un abrazo. My name is Maggie from South Africa. I had neck pain, especially the back part of the neck. I was trying to move my neck, but it was very painful earlier. As I was standing up during the interactive prayer, I eventually was moving around and found myself on the floor. When I stood up and I tried to move my neck, it could move with no trouble and the neck pain was gone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somos la familia Bonilla de Tartar Salta, Argentina. Queremos compartir nuestra experiencia después de la oración y reunión interactiva con el Pastor Chris, que fue de mucha bendición a nuestras vidas. Y gracias a Dios, día a día vamos viendo las bendiciones. Este, ponemos a Jesús ante todo, siempre con una oración ante todo y siempre para adelante con la fe en el Señor. Hola, soy Ramón. Mi testimonio es que después de la oración interactiva con el profeta Cris, eh, una fuerza sobrenatural para servirle, para buscar su rostro. Eh, Dios avivó el fuego de nuestra vida como iglesia, como cristiano. Mi nombre es Corina, también soy de Tercera del Salta, Argentina. Y agradecida con Dios por, porque recibí sanidad porque venía con un dolor tremendo de pecho y, y en esa oración recibí sanidad para la gloria de Dios. Eh, mi nombre es Carla, mi testimonio es de, en el momento de la oración, estuve muy luchada, eh, no podía concentrarme. En el momento de, de que el profeta dijo que recibe perdón, este, comencé a... Tenía un llanto desconsoladamente y comencé a, a vomitar. Él decía que no toquemos lo, las partes donde me dolía, entonces comencé a tocar acá en las partes de los ovarios, en las trompas, este, y luego en la cabeza, y, y luego comencé a vomitar, a vomitar, y para la gloria de Dios, estamos sanos. <risa> I'm Faith from South Africa. During the interactive prayer service with Brother Chris, I vomited this poisonous substance. This is what came out of my system. Glory be to God. The poisonous substance and the sickness has come out now. I'm healed, I'm delivered, I'm free. No more pain. I feel very light in the spirit. I can walk freely now. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Amen. My name is Brian. I'm a Zambian. During our prayers, I experienced the Holy Spirit in which I just discovered that my body started shaking. Then I started coughing. Eventually, I started vomiting. And then later on, I checked my vomitus. I discovered that uh, there were a lot of uh, blood substances. The Lord, my God, has located me and I'm healed. I thank God for what he has done in my life. I thank Brother Chris. I thank uh, God's Heart TV team for availing themselves to be used by God in the extension of his kingdom.